So he's a huge crowd favorite, and here we go. Well, Kearney's among the shortest competitors, if not the shortest competitor here. Only 5'9", so his arms and legs aren't nearly as long. But after a slow start, he's rolling down this course. Kearney off to a fantastic start. You notice the short, choppy steps look really balanced, whereas Johan Els kind of going more slow and laborious. The undersized Kearney putting on a show here early. Got to touch the line for it to count. And as Els drops the elephant, he's out, and so is Kearney. 63.59. That's the number and the bar to beat. Els will begin in second place, a distance of 44.93. I love the camaraderie between these athletes. For the great showing, his arms aren't long enough to make contact with each other and hold the elephant. But on his second turn, he gets that foot around so that it counts as we see Els, the local hero, drop that elephant first. Up next, Denmark, Mikael, Light. Mikael Light from Denmark. And he goes up against Lawrence Chalet of Great Britain. And he's in third after four events. Chale, more known for his static lifting and pressing power. His cardiovascular training is going to get tested here in an event that requires you to move on the fly. He's moving pretty nicely early on, Aaron. He certainly is. You see, he's taking that curled bicep approach there as he grabs onto the tusks, trying to find a way to get a solid grip on this awkward weight. Look in that far lane as he drops it. Mikel Light is done. Chale continues. Chale trying to find a way to get an advantage. Lost some weight before this competition, but also lost some strength in the process, so he bulked back up, and it seems to be a good decision here as he makes the turn with 440 pounds bearing down on that newly rebuilt frame. 63.59 was the number to beat, and we're going to see what Chale ended up with. He goes into the lead, 65.99 meters in the elephant carry. As Light goes into fourth, only 30.84 meters. There's no denying the heart and determination of Lawrence Chalet as he grinds it out there at the end, looking to see how far he gets, knowing he's won and drops it in victory.